What's up, short sports fans? With the football season here, check out Fourth and Short on YouTube. Every Saturday morning, Fourth and Short covers the wackiest and craziest stories of the week from high school football to the NFL. It's only on YouTube, so go subscribe right now and get ready for a great time. I'm out. Peace. This is Fourth and Short. I'm your host, Daniel Short. Let's go ahead and talk about what happened this week. Bosa's mother took to social media to vent her frustration with the contract dispute with the Chargers. The post uh, was first reported by San Diego Bolt dot, uh, re- or dot com and was later removed. But in a written response to a, a post from a Facebook user who said uh, he hoped, quote, it turns out well for your son. I, I hope it turns out well for your son. Chargers are horrible at stopping the running game, end quote. Right? A, a, a fan who's uh, you know, talking to Joey Bosa's mother on Facebook and commenting. Now, Cheryl Bosa wrote in, in response to that, quote, it bums me, it bums, bums me out uh, for him so much. Wish we pulled an Eli Manning on draft day. Wow. Shot, shot right to everybody in the Chargers fans and organization. I mean, I, I'm not taking it rough. It's just, damn, it's not holding back at all. <laughs> Disaster. Uh, the Pro Football Hall of Fame game was. Uh, it didn't even happen. Uh, they announced, of course, Monday afternoon that they would uh, only refund the fans who bought tickets for two Sundays, canceled the game. It would receive uh, its whatever you get a refund basically one so who will be in the pro football hall of fame class of 2017 let's go ahead and go through because some of the guys uh these are just uh, i believe i picked five or six five i picked five uh that will be selected because you know there's gonna be a, the senior of uh, electee and i think what they do also a management guy i don't want to go that far i just wanted to pick the modern era players and uh and one coach so, uh, in no particular order, these are just kind of guys that I just thought. Uh, Kurt Warner, quarterback. Warner will be hoping that third time's a charm in 2017. This guy needs to be in. Although a two-time NFL MVP was named Hall of Fame finalist during each of the first two years of eligibility, he didn't make the cut either time. Now, Warner's story is one of the most incredible tales in, in NFL history, and that's why I believe it deserves to be in. The Hall of Fame. We all know it. Grocery store clerk bagging the groceries. Goes to the AFL, gets his chance, and then on to the NFL Europe. And then becomes part of the greatest show on turf with the, uh, the, with the NFL Rams. And is the main guy. He, he deserves to be in. I, I think he will get it this year. Uh, especially with all the media coverage that he gets from being with NFL Network. Uh, and just a great guy he is. And his stats, I know he had that rough patch in his career. We, I, I think the stat was like 6-22 and 22 as a starting quarterback but between the early 2000s, uh, right after he was with the Rams, when he was with the Giants, and even with the Cardinals. And then finally, he takes the Cardinals, who we all, before he was there, the Cardinals, historically, worst franchise. next to, Right next to the Cleveland Browns. Even the Cleveland Browns had better success than, than the Arizona Cardinals. Believe it or not, they did. Then he finally gets there, and, and, and then we have that big run, that Super Bowl run. Next one, ladies and gentlemen, get your popcorn ready. Canton, Ohio, because Terrell Owens is going to be there. Now, I know people are going to say, whoa, 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 whoa. They they're going to keep holding him out because all the antics he had his entire No, 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 no. Look at the stats. That's in his 15-year career, six-time Pro Bowler. Racked up 1,078 catches for 15,934 yards, 153 touchdowns. In terms of NFL history, ladies and gentlemen, Owens is sixth all-time in receptions, third all-time in receiving yards, and second all-time in touchdown catches. It's hard to argue against those numbers, especially who the receivers are now in the Hall of Fame. 
Really, the only way Owens won't be inducted in, 20, in 2017 is if he does something stupid again or he actually signs with the NFL team, which I don't see any any team signing him. But every offseason, Owens insists that he can still play even though he's 40-something years old. And if he did sign with the team, even just uh, obviously not a tryout, but if he signs with a contract with the team, practice squad, doesn't matter, it pushes his eligibility for another five years. So even like what he did with the Seattle Seahawks when he's there for that short time, if he does that, another five years so he's eligible. Eek. I don't think that happens. Of course, the next guy who will be in is LaDainian Tomlinson. Uh, now, there's also another running back in, Terrell Davis, Denver Broncos, and he's been in there for the uh, past couple years. And this isn't good news because now LT's in. They haven't had two running backs in the Hall of Fame, and I believe, uh, of course, I didn't put the stat in. Uh, it, it's been a long, long, long time. I think it was in the 70s or 80s uh, when they had uh, two running backs inducted at the same time. Uh, he rushed for over 1,200 yards in seven straight seasons, was named first team all pro three times. And again, the biggest edge Davis has over Tomlinson is the fact that he has a Super Bowl MVP award and two Super Bowl rings. That's it. During the, uh, Tomlinson's 11-year career, Tomlinson only played in two conference titles and never made it to a Super Bowl. Uh, we talked about how Art Bryles, you know, is he going to coach again? Big question. That's a big question because of what has happened over at Baylor and the reason he was gone. Now, he's been out of football for less than three months after the scandal at Baylor led to his departure, but he still has a hard time coming to grips that the season is starting without him on the sidelines. Quote, I'm dumbfounded and trying to process everything as it goes, but it is what it is. Reality is reality, and so what I've got to do is redefine myself and start a new chapter, and that's what I'm doing. Come on, bros. Now, Riles hopes to return to coaching as soon as next season, saying, quote, I hope November, December, that's the plan. Unfortunately, some job will come open. Uh, I've never rooted against anybody or any team, but that's the nature of the business. So we'll have to see when that happens. But like I said, it's going to be a new journey, and I'm excited to take it. I really am. Now he's got a little bit of backup, though, which is terrible. Now, Riles has a close relationship with the Cowboys. His daughter, Jancy works or worked in the team's public relations department for years. How ironic is that? Uh, is the owner and general manager, Jerry Jones, said Browse has a standing invitation to visit practice whenever he wants. And Jones believe he will coach, uh, that believes Browse will coach again soon. Quote, he's a peer with his peers. Certainly, I think he would be a great asset to an organization at any level, at any level. He's a football coach. He understands talent. And evaluates talent. He also went on to say that he would serve as a reference for Browse if needed while acknowledging he does not condone the wrongdoings at Baylor. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the first installment of Fourth and Short. And if you did, be sure to like and share this video with your friends and family. And I look forward to seeing y'all next Saturday morning here on YouTube. If you have any suggestions on what should be on next week's show, email us at shortsportshow at gmail.com or tweet us at shortsportshow. As always, God first, God bless. I'm out. Peace.